Well, week eight, huh? I don't know how we got here, but we got here. to week eight of the NFL season tonight. It's another Thursday night. The Ravens take on the Buccaneers tonight. You know, Lamar Jackson and company are just kind of... They're, they're cruising. Um, the Bucks secondary injured. We know the offense under Tom Brady ain't producing. So what, what will it take? For the Buccaneers to get back to 500 at least. What will it take? Who knows? I really don't know. I mean, hopefully Baltimore doesn't mess things up by, you know, losing the lead or anything crazy like that. But, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. And for whatever reason, we got another London game. But thank goodness the game really doesn't matter. Because the Jags and the Broncos are both 2-5. and five. They're both not good. They're just, it's just, ugh. Like, Trevor Lawrence is just like, eh. Russell Wilson might be playing. But, I mean, Broncos country, go hide. So, like, I don't even know. I don't even know, man. I don't even know what kind of game this is. It'll be it'll probably be a really really bad one, but I mean it is what it is. The Falcons and the Panthers should be kind of interesting because you know the Panthers can get in the first place somehow, which is weird. You know if P.J. Walker plays, you know, good again somehow, maybe things will trend in the Panthers' direction. Falcons. Got an interesting defense that can play. You know, it's, it's been kind of wishy-washy throughout the season. But the Falcons, if they win this game, they'll be in a better position. You know, somebody somebody's going to be leading the NFC South at the end of Sunday. And I don't know who it's going to be. I really don't because I think the division is just that. It's, it's pretty bad. Pretty bad, let me tell you. Chicago's 3-4 and four after... Basically using their defense to beat up on the Patriots. Of course, the Cowboys are five and two right now. I don't know. I don't know what in the world happened with the Bears on Monday night with Justin Fields. I don't know. I really don't. But you know, maybe maybe the Bears have something cooking. Maybe not. Who knows? You know, Dak and the boys are almost at the bye week for them. And I mean. You know that Cowboys defense, they, they they might have a field day with Justin Fields if that offense, that offensive line can't hold up, you know, it, it could be a long day for Fields. The Dolphins, the Lions also facing off, you know. Um, I don't know what in the world kind of game we're going to get from Jared Goff because, I mean, the training wheels are off for Dan Campbell's team. You know, they, they look like they could score, but now... Now, not so much. And then you got the Dolphins still trying to figure out where where they are, you know, a team that's just kind of there right now with all the injuries they've had. But I think, you know, I think this one's going to be real intriguing to see, you know, what in the world can these young defenders do against Tua? And I say that with a question mark because, I mean, who knows if he's really there or not. I'm not even joking. Like, not even joking. That concussion still. I, I still think that concussion's affecting Tua, honestly. The Vikings are back from bye. They play the Cardinals. Like, I don't know. Like, DeAndre Hopkins is there. You know, you got. Actually, I don't even know. I don't even know what the Cardinals even are anymore. Like, they're 3 and 4, but they don't feel like a 3 and 4 team. They feel like a team that's just underachieving in all the worst ways. And, I mean, the Vikings still kind of a question. Like, I'm still surprised that they're even 5-1, and one, but they're 5-1 and one somehow. I don't, I don't know how, but they are. And considering their one loss was to Philadelphia getting blown out, I, 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 have, no, I, I, I have no words. I really don't. That's just how the NFL's been. You know, you got the Ravens, not the Ravens, the Raiders and the Saints facing off. You know, the Raiders got a big win last week. You know, I mean, the Saints still kind of 
The Saints are just an interesting team because, like, they turn the ball over too much. You know, and then you have the Raiders actually scoring at will for some reason, which is just odd. Like, this, this is a combination of weirdness, you know. I don't, I don't know what in the world is going to be the answer for the Saints because Andy Dalton's still the quarterback, you know. You got... You you got a Saints offense that you know they got they got the pieces. They also have a defense with the pieces, but it's just not all the way there, and that's why they're two and five right now. So we'll see. Um, Jets Patriots somehow somehow you know I I think I was a little bit critical of the Patriots on Monday night because I hadn't watched that game. I'm gonna be honest with you. You know, Bill Belichick and company just, they haven't looked great this year. What can you say? The Jets, they have looked a lot better. I wouldn't say great, but a lot better. And, you know, the Jets, they have a really good defense. They unfortunately lost Breeze Hall. And they don't really have much of an offense. So, um, maybe Zach Wilson can step up. Please? Something? Anything from Zach Wilson? Come on. Come on, J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets. You need some offense. Let's go. Let's go get that. Please. The Eagles, the Steelers is a game that's happening. Like, like I guess it, it, it's real. You know, Najee Harris is really the only guy producing with the Steelers right now. T.J. Watt might be back, you know. No, I mean, but then again, you got James Bradbury, Darius Slay, who, for whatever reason, I haven't even talked about at all. Like they, they are like the best duo in the NFL right now. Like they're just that good on defense. Of course, Jalen Hurts out there, you know, out there slinging and doing the good thing for the Eagles. Like the Eagles, are just that good. They're undefeated. For a reason, they're undefeated for a reason, and the Steelers are two and five for a reason. So we'll see if the Steelers can try to do something, but I, I honestly doubt it. I really do. Titans, Texans is another game that's happening. Like I don't even know why Ryan Tannehill is still the Texans' quarterback, or rather, the Titans. I get, I get things mixed up. You know, the Texans, the Titans. I mean, they're both with T's in their names. You know, Davis Mills is the Texans quarterback, actually. So, you know, he's had, he had a, actually a nice game last week, which is weird. But I'm, hope, I'm hoping Derrick Henry just runs wild. That, that's all I want. Derrick Henry running wild on the Texans. You know, putting names and souls in the notebook of, you know, getting stiff-armed. That's what I want for the Titans. Just run the ball, please. Just run the ball. Commanders Colts. Uh, it's a game that's happening. Sam Ellinger is going to be the Colts starter now. Jonathan Taylor is looking like Jonathan Taylor again. And I mean, um, Washington's got a pretty interesting defense that can play. You know, again, the NFL this year has been a little bit more about the defenses playing better. And we know Washington, they can play defense. So we'll see if Sam Ellinger can actually, you know, do something. Because, I mean, the Commanders, they they have a pretty good defensive line that can get to the quarterback. So we'll see. And then the 49ers Rams, that was another interesting one. Jimmy G going up against Matthew Stafford. You know, like, again, the 49ers and the Rams played a month ago, and... Yeah, honestly, I don't even remember that game, but it happened. It happened. The game happened, and it, it was it was it was a game that you know the 49ers won pretty easily. Honestly, we'll see if the Rams can actually get something going against the 49ers. But the 49ers are in a weird position themselves. You know, they haven't looked like that team that you know has all this talent. And all these weapons that want to win a Super Bowl around them. We'll see 
what this game entails. It's going to be a good one, I think. And then the real game of the week is the Seahawks Giants somehow. Somehow. I don't know. I, I really don't know. What can you say about the Seahawks that hasn't already been said? They lead the NFC West right now. DK Metcalf's injured, though. But Geno Smith's at quarterback. And now you got Kenneth Walker running in the backfield like it's nobody's business. The Giants, led by Daniel Jones and St. Juan Barkley. And Wink Martindale's defense as well. You know, just a really good defense. But the Giants, all season long, can they get to Geno Smith? Can they? We'll find out. Can the Seahawks, you know, keep it together for 60 minutes? They do allow points. They do allow points. I'll say that much for the Seahawks defense. They do allow points, but, you know, the Seahawks defense also can play when need be. So we'll see. Packers-Bills kind of just, it's, it's, it's kind of just the matchup that's there. Like Aaron Rodgers and company are just, they're at a crossroads right now. They don't know what to do. They really don't know what to do against a, a really good Josh Allen-led Bills team. They don't know what to do. They're going to need to do something, though, I think, to really get the momentum flowing at home. You know, or at least at the Bills' house, not not Lambeau. They're, they're in Orchard Park. By the way, the Bills have, like, a new stadium. Like, uh, it's like a new design for their stadium floating around. It looks good. Looks real good. Um, I don't know what I don't know what the Packers are gonna do because I, ju I just don't I just don't see it. I really don't see it. I hope the Packers continue to lose because that's just me being a hater, you know. And I mean, come on, I don't want to be a hater. Let me hate. Bengals Browns closes it out on Halloween night. Uh, Joe Burrow, what can you say that hasn't already been said? This man has been playing. Lights out, you know, the past few weeks. He's been playing lights out. The Browns defense, they're they're a defense that exists, which is a, which is saying a lot. But I think the Browns, you know, with Jacoby Brissett and company, Nick Chubb, I mean, they, they can they can they can contend in this game. You know, the the spread says Bengals by three, but I mean Come on, I, I want to see Joe Burrow lighten up the Browns like you did the Falcons. Let, let me see that again. Let me see Joe Burrow, Joe Shiesty, lighten up the Falcons, please. Or rather, right, lighten up the Browns, not the Falcons. He already lit up the Falcons. Make make that Dookie go on fire. Make that... No, 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 no. Make, make that elf on the field go on fire. You know, that weird-looking elf that Cleveland has... As their midfield logo. Make that thing go on fire, please. Thing looks terrible. But in any case, that's all I've got. What about y'all? What do what do y'all think for week eight of the NFL season? Nah, I don't even know what the NFL is anymore. I really don't. I don't know I don't know what to say, man. Crazy stuff. I I guarantee you week eight's gonna end in something completely insane. To which I just don't even have a appropriate reaction to. Oh boy. Man. I don't know. But in any case, that's it. I'll see you guys on Monday night, NFL fans. Yeah. Take care. See you Monday. And see you Sunday, too.